morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time I'm catching you at. It is good to be talking to you all today. It is Wednesday, April 8th, 4 8 20. And today, we got a really good lesson. I think it's going to be one of the best lessons I've done yet uh, because today we are starting a new unit. All right. So, as you saw, starting out, uh, you go into Google Classroom, hit Classwork. And you see that today we've got the new unit. I'm going to open up the document that I need to fill out or that you need to fill out, the worksheet, all right? And uh, I'm going to open up the presentation. I'll be using the presentation, but you could probably just use the worksheet the entire time. Anyways, to get things started off, we've got a question of the day. Today's question of the day is, do you think that a bartering or trading system would work today with the crisis going on? Do you have any excess or extra items that you would trade and you know in return for something else? And are there any items that you need right now that they're tough to get and you really wish you could get them? All right, go ahead and write your answers right over here. Then you're going to post your answer at the question of the day, all right? And then you're going to respond to somebody else, all right? And then tell me what you said. Alrighty, remember, it needs to be a complete thought. I wanna give you credit for this and I'm trying to get you to understand how you'll get credit next week when I can really start grading you. All right, so make sure that you are writing a complete thought. Don't just say, I agree. If you're gonna say, I agree, say why you agree. All right, uh, go ahead and do that and come back to the video when you're done, go. Next up, we've got some announcements. As many of you know, the grading period ends today. I've got about three essays that students have sent me to regrade, but pretty much other than that, the grades are updated. By the end of the day on Synergy, you'll have your final grade in the class. You already know, or for this past quarter, uh, but just know that the high schools don't look at your quarter grades, they look at your semester grades. The issue here is, uh, well, actually, it's not too much of an issue. I'm pretty sure your uh, next quarter will be a cumulative or it'll combine this quarter and next quarter. Anyways, uh, grading, you've done a great job. If you've done a great job with distant learning, you'll get a four, all right, uh, for the intentional practice grade, which is what I use for notebook checks. Um, but if you have not, you'll get an E, which is an excuse, and it won't hurt or help your grade, all right? And mainly that's because I'm technically not allowed to grade you for what we've done. But on Monday, April 13th, I can start grading you. Alrighty, so uh, please, 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 I think I'll do it on a weekly basis so you can get a lot of points for doing the work, okay? There will be some slight changes to the rubric for the magazine project, but it's still due. It's an exciting change. I'll be telling you about that on Monday. That would be the best time for me to tell you, all right? So don't worry too much about that. Uh, just keep working on your magazine project, all right? Uh, Miss E, she made a video on how to get a scholar cards, which is a library card. If you need to get a library card so you can access uh, ebooks, you can access movies, you can access uh, videos, audiobooks, a bunch of different stuff. If you checked out a Chromebook from SFUSD and you're having some performance issues, it's running slow, check out this video Miss E made. And also, I put under the announcements, if you'd like to make an appointment with me for writing help or any other help that you might need right now, please feel free to make an appointment with me. I've got two appointments booked today. I've got another appointment booked tomorrow. Um, still lots of time slots left, all right? So feel free to book an appointment if you need any help with the writing. We are in a new unit. We are in the Islam unit, all right? So we got the Kaaba over here. Uh, we've got these mosques, right? Uh, Really going to be a cool unit. We're going to go deeper into Islam, deeper into this guy, Muhammad, and uh, the religious experiences he had and how he was such a great leader. But to start things off, where is the Arabian Peninsula? All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to look at this map and you're going to choose the letter that is closest to the Arabian Peninsula. If you don't know where the Arabian Peninsula is, don't worry, just open up another tab and Google it and see if you can find out where it is on this map. Alrighty, then you're gonna go to Google Classroom and you're gonna see where is the Arabian Peninsula. I even have the picture here if you wanna see it twice. Alrighty, and you can go ahead and write your response. Make sure you are correct, all right? 
you have to get the right answer, all right? Uh, that's right here. Where is the Arabian Peninsula? Make sure you have the right answer. I'll be looking for the right answer, all right? And then um, this is where you're just gonna say, yeah, I checked. I checked to make sure I have the right answer, okay? Go ahead and do that and come on back to the video. Next up, we've got this beautiful satellite image of the Arabian Peninsula. Kind of looks like a giant foot with the toe that needs to be trimmed, toenail that needs to be trimmed. Anyways, uh, if you take a look over here, what we're gonna do is by looking at the satellite images, we're gonna come up with an inference or an educated guess, alrighty? So how would you describe the geography? Is it dry, is it wet, is there a lot of different types of climate zones, right? What's around the coast? What's in the center? What resources do you think they have, all right? Uh, what areas do you think this peninsula might trade with? And what do you think life is like here during the Middle Ages, all righty? Go ahead and answer the question, and for this one, it's an inference. So it's okay if you are incorrect, it's all right. You can change your answer if you'd like, but please respond to at least one person, all righty? So write your answer here, copy that answer and paste it into looking at the satellite image, write your answer then here, then respond to somebody and post who you responded to right here. Feel free to pause the video and come on back when you're done. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is a little bit of reading and taking notes, all righty? So I'm gonna call this the Arabian Geography Notes Jigsaw, all right? I'm gonna try to make it work. This was obviously uh, created for the classroom originally, but I tried to make it work for this uh, digital learning, so we'll see how well it works. But what you're gonna do is this. You are going to go to this reading, and you're gonna uh, fill in the chart based on your first name. So for example, if my name is Greg, I would go to the G section. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna be taking, I'm gonna be filling in this chart for page 79, Coastal Plains. So if I go to the reading here, the page numbers are at the bottom, all right? So don't freak out here. The page numbers are down here at the bottom. 75, 76, 77, 78, and 79, the Coastal Plains. So I'm gonna read, and as I read this, I'm gonna fill in this chart, all right? Not too bad, right? So I'd fill this, I'd fill this, I'd fill this, oops, fill this, fill this, and I'd fill this, and actually this one I would say the section I did, which was Coastal Plains, right? Then what you're gonna do, and this, is, this works out pretty well, you're gonna copy all of this, you're gonna go into Google Classroom to the next question, which says Arabian Geography Notes Jigsaw. You're gonna open this up. You're going to just paste your answer here and it pastes it super, super well, all right? And then you're gonna hit turn in. Once you hit turn in, you can see everybody else's. So what you need to do is you need to find a different section, all right? You need to find a different set section. So you have to read somebody else's chart that's a different section, and then, uh, and then you're gonna fill in your chart, fill in the chart based on the other person. So let's say I read Greg's, right? They did it on deserts, right? Because I did coastal plains. I'm gonna write what they wrote for a description of the location. I'm gonna write what they wrote for adaptations, and I'm gonna write what they wrote for what they think the common resources for that area. Cool, it's a jigsaw, and then thank them. Write them a comment and thank them for their work, all right? Feel free to do that, pause the video, and come on back when you're done. Okay, everybody, the last thing is to work on your history magazine project. Why? Well, because the third paragraph is due today, Wednesday, April 8th, and all your writing, that means your fourth and conclusion paragraph is gonna be due on April 13th, that is Monday. I'm realizing now I forgot to post a document to help you with the conclusion. I will go ahead and post that right now. 
um, just so that it's at the top of your page. But I'll go ahead and post that to help you if you're working on your conclusion paragraph, what you could write there. Last but not least, you've been writing a lot, try to find somebody to peer review your essay. Remember, if you go over here and you head, uh, head over to, on the left-hand side, you can see there's a spot that says email, class email list, right? Remember, you can see everybody's email here. Feel free to email somebody from class and say, hey, will you check my essay? We'll get AWW points, all right? Um, and you'll get better at writing essays by helping somebody else with their essay. Last but not least, to finish things off, if you haven't contacted your lead editor, please do. Here are the due dates, like I said. Uh, paragraph three is due Wednesday. All the writing should be finished by Monday. Your image with the caption is gonna be due on the 16th and your final project should be due on April 17th. Alrighty, make sure you turn in this document. Have a great day, everybody. I hope this lesson worked out well and we will continue with Arabia and Islam tomorrow. Have a fantastic day and take care, everybody. Bye-bye.